que es un caldo de pierna. Se puede llevar uno de estos también. Sí, sí claro que sí. Tenemos que hacer todo. So I tested positive for the flu and nothing better than getting yourself a caldo de gallina. Let me just show y'all what, what it looks like. This, this is special right here. This, this ain't just, this ain't just anything. I'm 10 minutes in, and this thing is, I don't know how to explain this, but wow. You know, it's crazy. I've been here for two months. The time has just flown and I have about 10 months left before I get to go home. I don't know if you guys have seen, or I don't know if you're new here, but I am officially having to stay out of the US for over a year. We'll touch base more about it as the days or the months go by. But as of right now, I'm stuck in Mexico. I'm away from my family. I don't have Britsy with me. And it's been a little overwhelming, but at the same time, it's it's been a beautiful experience. Just because your life is on hold right now does not mean you're being held back. If I can describe how I feel today on January 6, 2024, it is a little impatient just because when you start to analyze the timeline and you start to realize, whoa, there's still a long time to go. I just want to be home already, but I know, I know the time has to take its course and this ain't a sad story. I'll get over this. I know that there's just some days that just feels really long and today is one of those days. 2024 is insane. It was like bittersweet for me, clearly because Alfredo, we're not together like physically. We're still married, <laughs> but we're not together physically. He spent it in Mexico, I spent it with my family here in Georgia, and it was definitely bittersweet. It was exciting because it's 2024. It's the year he comes home. So it feels closer. I'm happy about that. It's another year. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us see another year. It was a bit emotional, but I'm okay right now. I'll talk to you guys about I'll talk to you guys about that more later in the video. Right now, I'm just trying to get back into my workout routine. This year is a year because I'm trying to look like a whole meal when my man comes back home. <laughs> I'm trying to look like a different girl, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I've, I started on Tuesday. I was like, I do not want to see any food at all. I do not want to see tamales. I do not want to see tacos. I do not want to see pastries. Like, I was so sick of it. Clearly, like, it's normal to, like, overeat on New Year's and the holidays, but I was just so tired of it. So, like, right the day after New Year's Day, I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get on my ground turkey, on my chicken, like, just healthy stuff, my broccoli. I was like, I need to eat a vegetable. Like, someone bring me a vegetable. This has gotta go. I still love myself, clearly, but I know what I want for myself. I know what my body deserves. I know what my mind deserves to feel, so... It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good year. This year's gonna be your year. This year's gonna be my year. And we're gonna be great. I want to talk to you guys about the decision me, Alfredo, and I have made about me visiting Mexico. Yeah, so the answer is I won't be visiting Alfredo in Mexico for the entire year. And I'm gonna tell you why. But first, let me, let me grab my licuadora. A lot of factors, I don't know if you saw me, but a lot of factors come out to play as to why I won't be going. That should be enough. A few moments later. Y'all, my smoothie just spilled. Cozy vibes. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day, this toast to your morning smoothie with me. Alfredo and I have been getting a lot of questions about Am I going to Mexico? When am I going to Mexico? Do I plan on moving there? Do we plan on moving there? And just other questions relating for either moving or traveling to Mexico to visit Alfredo or to live in Mexico with him until he comes back. And the answer is no. I know we've seen some comments about like, oh, you, you need to move to your with your husband to Mexico, but uh, we don't want that because our home is here in, in Georgia. We have a 
businesses multiple to run here we have a lot of commitments here we have you know we've we worked our way to be successful here and that's not what we have in plan and as far as visiting there's a lot of factors that kind of come to play with that i would love to i think like the like the like the surface level answer would be i'm not visiting because <sighs> i'll put this into words I'm not visiting because I don't feel emotionally strong to do that right now. And I could just be saying that because it's only been two months that we've been apart. But I just feel like, you know, the, the exciting thing to do is going to Mexico, right? Traveling, being on the plane, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm about to see Alfredo. And then the hard part is leaving him in Mexico. And I just don't feel like I'm mentally, emotionally strong for that right now. I just feel like if I were to go see him, I would want to stay there, if I'm being honest. I, I feel like I, I would want to stay there. I would not want to come back, but I would have to come back because I have work, I have two dogs. We have two dogs, we have a whole house to pay, we have bills to pay and whatnot. I just feel like I wouldn't be strong enough to get myself back on the plane and to leave him there. I feel like it would just be even more heartbreaking knowing that I'm leaving him. Whereas like the last time I saw him, you know, we hugged, I was like, babe, I'm gonna see you again. And like that for some reason feels like it was, I left him at a much better place when he first left to the airport. Then if I were to go right now, I know I would come back in tears. Pretty much is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna come back like devastated, heartbroken. Like after seeing him, after not seeing him for a long time, like we've never been apart again, ever, ever, ever. The longest we've gone without seeing each other is like a day and a half. <laughs> and I would feel completely heartbroken. That's that's like the surface level answer. Mm. There's like deeper level factors that kind of come to play with that. Well, actually, um, I'll explain to you the deeper level once I need to get ready for my day. So let's go get ready. I'm gonna go shower and do my makeup, change, all that. So I'll explain throughout that. Also, I love this contour. It's so dirty, but it's the rare, the rare beauty one. And I've had it for a minute now and it still has plenty. I feel like the Lord is truly working in Alfredo and I individually and as a marriage. A lot of people don't know, but before Alfredo left, yeah, I don't think we opened up to you guys about it, but we were going through kind of a rough patch in our marriage and it was getting a little scary. I, we were talking about, we were talking about going to a marriage counselor or couples therapy, whatever. Because yeah, it was getting a little rocky, I would say. Not the rockiest, but like to split up, but we almost had thoughts of what the heck, if this looks like this now, what does 20 years from now look like? What does next year look like? What does five years down the road look like? I'm telling you, God has beautiful ways that he works in and he created this, dis this distance for a reason. I feel like he is training us to be better individuals to be better a better person well, i speak for myself i feel like he the lord is teaching me how to be better individually how to be a better wife first how to be a better friend how to be a better daughter sister i mean everything he is literally stretching me and molding me into a better person i literally feel it in in the spiritual realm and i think the same for alfredo uh clearly this distance this distance is i quote that says um distance makes the heart grow fonder and i totally feel it now uh i clearly want to see alfredo i don't ever want to be separated from him i just feel this is on a spiritual level god is literally training you apart from one another you guys need to learn how to grow as individuals while still being together obviously married but also separated like clearly there's like he's in mexico i'm in the u.s but also being able to be alone with God, if that makes sense. I think this year is gonna be beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's it's still difficult. I'm human and I hurt, Alfredo hurts. We still all feel the the reality of it. I mean, it's, it sucks, you know, that's literally it. It's horrible being away from your significant other for a week, let alone a whole year. I also put myself in the perspective of I'm just I'm just so thankful it wasn't longer than a year like a year is doable and maybe I was just still saying this because it's only been two months but that's where I feel like God really wants us to be at is using this year for growth 
in every area emotionally mentally physically and above all spiritually i i feel like he has us in a boot camp loki <laughs> and i think it's gonna be okay it's gonna be a beautiful distance and we're gonna be okay i also like put into perspective that worst case scenario i am able to travel worst case scenario as in if like i miss him terribly or you know there's a mental struggle like i'm able to leave and and you know i i have peace that i can do that i'm you know so blessed to be able to but also we put ourselves into the perspective of we've been through worse things you know losing abel it shifted our perspective of life in general i'm like that we went through that for like three years you know abel was three when he passed and that was definitely so much heavier and harder than what we are going through present time right now and i'm like if we are if we were able to get through that to know how to heal from that and grow in that i think we can also do this with the help of god only you know and we definitely won't be the same people as a couple individually everything i think this is going to enrich and grow our marriage i could already see it like the lord has his hand upon it god is protecting it and i rebuke any attack of the enemy over our marriage i bind it in jesus name like god is covering it all with his protection of blood and he is covering us he is covering our minds and i feel like our marriage is going to be in a beautiful place and obviously it takes hard work it takes my hard work it takes alfredo's hard work and that's only how a marriage can improve for the better is work effort commitment sacrifice compromise you know but that's where we are right now i hope that makes sense and i know alfredo feels the same too obviously he wants to see me i want to see him but we understand like the, the spiritual side of it i i we truly both do believe like that is what god is working in us right now he decided a year for a reason he didn't decide six months he didn't decide five years he didn't decide eight months he didn't decide two months he decided a year for a reason he allowed it that's the beautiful part of it i find peace that god allowed it he already knew walking into this what was going to happen he already knows the outcome of it he knows what day alfredo's coming back he knows it all and i find beauty of it obviously alfredo will be back by november of 2024 clearly we're in january that's like 10 months from now there's gonna be a lot of beautiful things happening within those 10 months